how to create a wedding website hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own wedding website so having said that let's just jump into the video now i do have to mention that i'm not a very good you would say designer so i'm gonna try my best to create a decent looking website for weddings although i'm not so sure i can but we'll just see how it looks like so i'm gonna try my best but it's pretty easy so it all depends on your creativity i would have to say but it's pretty easy so let's get started so you're gonna come over here onto wix.com and you're just simply gonna go ahead and sign up right and if you already have an account you can sign in but you just simply click on get started you input your email address you answer a few questions like where do you heard about wix what do you want to do with wix do you have a website do you have a store you know the usual but once you've got through it you are good to go so i'm just simply going to go ahead and sign into my account over here and we are good to go so once you logged in this is going to be your dashboard right here over here you're going to have your website that you recently created but for you the home screen will be completely different if you're signing in for the first time so for example if i click on create a new site uh, this is the home screen that is going to be similar to yours so over here you just simply have to search for your website but you can go ahead and skip this for now so i'm going to skip it now and over here you can have like forms and musics and video and all of that but for now, we're just simply going to skip all of this because we can add all of these features later on. So over here, uh, you have two options. You have Wix ADI and then you have the editor. So if you choose the ADI, you're going to let the Wix's artificial intelligence create a website for you. And it's going to ask you a bunch of questions that you answer and then it's going to create a website for you. But if since we're creating a wedding website, it's much more better if we, you know, go with the editor over here. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and click on edit a template to create a website. So over here, these are some of the templates that are going to be available to you. So let me just click on all templates and these are all the templates that are available. So let's get started. This is one of the things that I love about, you know, Wix is they have like 72 pages or 71 pages of templates and each of those templates are very unique and different. None of them look similar to each other. So which is one of the reasons why I highly recommend using Wix. So over here, I'm just simply going to search for wedding over here. It should pop up right here. So over here, as you can see, we have a bunch of different templates to choose from. Now you can, of course, you would want to have like, you know, a very unique looking website. You know, you don't want to use a template. Uh, but of course, since we are going to be using templates, you know, we can go ahead and modify it to our own needs so that we can make it more unique. Right. So over here, this is like wedding invitation. This is another wedding invitation, wedding invitation, wedding planner. So it all depends on you. So if you're trying to create like a wedding invitation type of website, then I really like this one right here actually this one right here because it's pretty simple lee and tom are getting married over here let's go ahead and review this template so yeah over here this looks really really nice you know lee and tom are getting married 24th of august 2023 hopefully the wedding goes good they send you their story how they met and stuff like that they have their images over here the wedding when and where rsvp view on map like pretty simple really so I actually like this so we're gonna go with this one actually so to edit this website you can just simply click on edit this site and you will you know move over here where you can see the editor so it's gonna load up and i'm gonna pause this video right here and i'll catch you guys in a second all right so this is how it looks like right so this is gonna be your website over here you're gonna have your tools and everything over here on the left side so as you can see it's pretty simple so over here it's a pretty simple editor it's a pretty simple drag and doff type of editor right and as you can see we have a bunch of different elements over here i did not realize that okay so we have a whole lot of elements so we have these flowers over here okay so yeah so pretty much over here what you're going to need to do is just simply highlight the area you want to edit all right so for example if you wanted to edit this area as you can see it starts to you know highlight that area which means that i can go ahead and start editing it out and over here we have this one right here you can change the dates you can change the story you can change the photography change the colors up change the names and everything right it looks pretty cool you can even change this as well so maybe you can add like you know flowers as well at the background to make it a little bit more different so what you can do is you can come over here onto the add icon over here and over here you can add different images over here as you can see free images wix illustrations stock images 
So if you click on free Wix images, you know, let's go over here. Over here, you can add different images from Wix. So if I were to just simply search for, let's say, flowers, then we would have a bunch of different flowers to choose from, like this one. I think this looks also pretty nice. I like this one as well. Pretty cool. So we could just simply go with that. But, you know, I feel like maybe illustrations would look much, much better over here. So if we click on over here on illustrations and I simply search for, let's say, flowers again. Like, as you can see, something like this, I think this would look pretty good. So if I click on add to page over here, we should have them. There we go. We already have them. So as you can see, they don't look different. They actually blend in pretty well, you, you know, like that. You can increase the size of that as well. Like, you know, overall, make it a little bit more bigger. Like you can change it as well. Like it's pretty simple. So let me just move that over here as you can see something like that it looks pretty big it looks pretty nice you can even change the background color of it as well so if you wanted to change the strip color you can go ahead and do that you can go with a different color maybe like a gray or actually gray does not look good maybe like a gradient color would look pretty cool like something like this yeah i think that looks pretty nice maybe something like this as well yeah i think that looks pretty nice but uh yeah, you can choose whichever one you want, right? So it all depends on you. So if you wanted to go with that one, we can go with that color as well. So let me just go ahead and click on the header and, you know, change the header design as well. If we click on no color, it's going to have no color. If you want to change it to different colors, then we can go ahead and change that to different colors as well. So let's say customize design over here. We want to have different design elements. As you can see over here, we want to have non. We have different padded ones as well. Maybe like this one with the all white background, you know, let's go with this one and center background. Yeah, we can change the borders. We can change the corners. We can add like shadows. It all depends on you. So what I would like to do is change the header design, maybe like go into the settings. We can go in with a freeze over here. We can go with the fade out. We can go with the disappear or scroll with the side. So I think scrolling with the side looks pretty cool maybe like actually fade out would look much better so if i were to scroll down the header is gonna fade out right so pretty simple and over here as you can see it looks pretty nice then over here down below you can add change this image to whatever you want maybe like a ring or a cake maybe something like that and then you can change the you know overall text of this as well and if you wanted to change the background, you can go ahead and change the background as well. So a whole strip actually change strip background over here. This is the entire, you know, background. So maybe like gray actually, or maybe you could set some other background as well. It all depends on you. Maybe you can add your video of you and your, you know, significant other, and then you are good to go. So maybe like if we search for, let's say couple over here. And we have some other images as well that we can choose from. So over here, you can add that and, you know, it all depends on you. Maybe something like this fancy hands. Yeah. Then we can change the background. There we go. The whole background has now been changed. It looks pretty nice, right? Same thing with this one over here. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Same thing over here. We can change these images out. We can do whatever we want. Everything looks good. Now, as I said before, my creativity is not good, right? I'm not a designer or anything like that. So I just warned you before, uh, you know, you clicked over here before we got started. But now you understand why. Like, I didn't change much. I mean, it was already pretty perfect in my opinion. But, you know, you could go with the different colors, different names and different paragraphs, different images. And it would still look pretty good, right? So once you have made this website, you could just simply click on publish and you know you can just simply save it or you can connect your own domain as well so once you've done that you are good to go so pretty much that's it that's how you do it that's how you create yourself your own wedding website i apologize if it wasn't exactly how you thought it would be but still in my opinion i think you know it came out all right i mean i didn't do much but anyway that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye